It is a great day to film a school day in my life. Today is the first day of my last two weeks of my spring semester. My whole school situation is a little confusing because I am a first semester junior in college, but then again, not really because I'm probably gonna be in college another two years. As a junior, typically one would be like one year left and then would be graduating. Unfortunately, I switched majors like three times, so that is not the case for me. Today on our agenda, we have a class at one. I have a project tomorrow, so I have to prepare for all of that. I also have lectures to catch up on because I've been very behind on those. Anyways, let's get the day started. Starting with my outfit because it's so cute. It is giving spring. I would have told my fifth grade self that she would be wearing these long skirts. She'd be confused because all she wore was basketball shorts and t-shirts back then. But I think I'm gonna wear the issues with it. Actually, I'm gonna go with these instead. I don't think these are like Fitting the vibe. It's giving Bridgerton for some reason, which I just finished the third season, Queen Charlotte, which was arguably better than the others. <gasps> Definitely like this a lot more. My sister likes to call these shoes clown shoes, which I mean, I get. Also, these are not the vibes for today. Ooh, good vibes only. Especially going into these last few weeks, I'm just gonna remain positive. Breakfast today is spam and eggs. A lot of you guys didn't know this about me, but I am Filipino. I, I don't know, a lot of you guys thought that I was Vietnamese. This is something my mom would make us like every morning for school because it's like so quick and easy. Being extra cautious today because the oil always squirts out and it's like burning hot. Jesus, chef. The oil just went into my eye. Hot. We have class to get to, so let's pack up the bag. This is my research 301 class, and today we're just gonna be going over like everything for the final exam and like going over a practice final. We were assigned to do it, and I didn't go to class last week, so I didn't know at like 12 o'clock last night that I had to do it, but somehow I got through it, honestly. Taking this mini water bottle. Look how cute. I also got this bag from Amazon. It's bag smart. I love you. One, and I'm actually running late to class. After this, but we're not going to it today, unfortunately. Semi and Ernie got locked out. We got a little stressed out because he has work at five, but figured out the situation. And now I'm gonna make a little snack. We are making instant topoki. It smells like instant macaroni. Oh. I don't know what the energy is today, but apparently the universe is not in my favor today. Luckily, this matcha taste little taste test.
I think this is like the perfect example of what I would want the tteokbokki to actually taste like. I also got this from World Market. My roommate told me that they had like really good instant udon noodles and tteokbokki. So I was like, okay, let me go try this out because I'm convinced. She also really knows what good food is. So I trust. Oh my God. I mentioned today is just not my day. You know what? I will say things are turning out delicious. Quick chat. I don't know about you guys, but I personally miss the classroom friendship dynamic that you would have in high school. I was watching Nicole Leano's video, which you guys probably know her. Like she's so big here on YouTube. She films a lot of like school day in my lives. And I recently stumbled upon like one of them. And I was like the energy coming from like her friends and even her teachers in regards to like her YouTube channel or even just like her friendships. You can tell her so genuine and supportive and like just good energy honestly it's so like cute to just watch because it takes me back to like high school and i'm like i remember sitting next to my best friend and just like doing dumb stuff and enjoying school because of it nowadays in college i feel like everyone's just so caught up in getting good grades and paying attention to what the teacher's saying also given you know college is a little bit more serious in high school i don't know i just haven't really established friendships that you just maintain over the years especially when it comes to like friends you make in classrooms i feel like i'll make one one semester and then I'll never talk to them again which I really want to change like maybe scheduling classes with people that you already know so that way like moving on to those you can sit next to each other and just have that cute innocent non-stressful vibe of being at school one of my friends who is a business major him and his roommate actually would take every class together and so that just sounds like something I wish I could do but obviously me like switching over into a major I just don't really know too many people also comment down below what grade you guys are in and maybe from like what country or providence <laughs> i don't know if that's right a lot of you guys are always telling me you're taking like your gcse's and in the u.s there's nothing really like that i guess you could say we just have like final exams and ap exams but from what i hear about like the gcs whatever it is exams they seem so much more like intense intricate like just really stressful anyways i do have a few things to catch up on i have a presentation tomorrow so i have to write up what i'm gonna be saying for that Time for a short break. I thought I would spend my break reading. This is our book read today. It is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I think the superior way to read a book is reading it out loud in a tone that just sounds very sophisticated and intriguing. Personally, I've always been a person who reads out loud. My best friend now told me that secretly growing up, she did not like the fact that I would read out loud. Like she would get so annoyed. And I was just like, I'm so sorry, but like that was the only way that I could properly learn. Anyways, it's a beautiful day outside. I thought I would soak in the sun. He went to work with what tools he possessed without waiting for the opportunity to favor him. And now evidence of his dreams belts the entire earth. We're gonna go to Home Depot right now so I can make a copy of my roommate's keys. I've been putting this off for a very long time, which is not good because obviously today I could not get into the house. I have a serious problem of putting things off. It's something we're gonna fix. Tell me you it feels so good. This is so cool. I'm waiting for my kids to come out of there. That was like actually really fun. It was the cutest little thing. Also nonsense is like stuck in my head. Like I cannot get it out. I recently just watched the nonsense music video, which was freaking amazing. Anyways, things are looking a lot brighter today. A little random, but we're gonna go off to H Mart. It's a little bit of a drive, but I have been craving these Asian pears that I can't seem to get out of my mind. So we're gonna go get them. These are the pears that I was looking for. I've actually been needing a new Lufa and these are so cute and I like that they're really small. I mean, these are actually so cute. How cool. It's like holographic. It's been a long day, but also 
productive one. Got a bunch of stuff that I have been putting off out of the way and honestly, whenever I get these things done that I avoid at all costs, like doing it is so much easier versus how I make it in my head. I have to continue Zoom meeting with my group and we're gonna practice our presentation. I also made the Zoom link, so I'm gonna get that started. Okay, I'll set up the Zoom meeting. Like answer all of these like cool things. Do you mind sharing the work? With the vision, we have a dividend, a divisor, and a quotient. Sharing division actually answers the question how many are in each group versus measurement division answers how many groups. Now, another way we can simply look at division is going back to subtraction. And this way, division would be actually defined as repeated subtraction. How do I end a Zoom meeting? Oh, that's how you end the meeting. Also, if you guys want to see what our presentation looks like, it's so cute. Basically, we have to do a math presentation on like multiplication, subtraction, division. We're going to be using M&Ms in it. My other groupmates actually did this. Like they freaking slayed. This one's just like aesthetically pleasing to look at. These are mine and they're not as cute. So I'm actually going to add a little like pictures in here just to make them kind of more visually appealing. It has been such a long day. I'm ending off the night with a face mask. Ernie's gonna do one with me, so do a little cute couple's face mask moment. I don't know if I'm gonna do the wine or the rose. The wine one just looks so intriguing. I honestly have to say, this has probably been the most productive day I've had in a while. And most like unluckiest day. Overall, I still think that it was just such a good day despite all the little mishaps here and there. Also, we are in May. May is my favorite month. One, obviously because it is my birthday month. But two, I just feel like there's so many like highs and lows that it's full of excitement you have your finals week and then you have like summer break coming up this <laughs> actually smells like wine by the way i turned 21 this year as she says looking like this welcome to spa della michaela she happens to also be wearing a face mask today okay it does look scary with or without it so. <gasps> let's put your hair back. can you blow on it i don't like cold stuff this one smells good oh god eyebrows look like this. <laughs> Your eyebrows look good. You look scary. <laughs> My nose so big. This is not the cute couple moment that I was hoping for. Wow. Oh, look at it. Nice. Look at my eyebrows. Has ever played sharks in the news? <laughs> that was so Did you? weird. Sharks in the news. <laughs> they never played it. No. They know. Sharks in the news. <laughs>